Today, we're talking about how to play a cha-cha on the vibraphone. So as usual, we first have to answer the question, what is a cha-cha? Or more accurately, what is a cha-cha-cha? It's this. It's Oye Como Va by the legendary Tito Puente. Most of the time when somebody calls a cha-cha on the gig, that's the pattern they're expecting. It's a relatively simple pattern, and what we're gonna do in this video is we're gonna break down where it comes from and how it works, as well as I'm gonna show you one other version of a cha-cha that comes up quite frequently and is probably worth knowing as well. This is all based on the Sun Montuno, which we covered in the last video. So if you haven't seen that yet, I'll put a link up here and down in the description. You really need to check that out first if you don't know what a Sun Montuno is, because it's the starting point for how this cha-cha pattern works. So now let's build the cha-cha pattern. If we take the rhythm of the Son Montuno and then we delete every third note, we're left with the cha-cha pattern. Dut, 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 dut. That's it. So it lines up exactly with the previous Montuno pattern. It's just slower and we took out some of the notes, but it's the same thing. Because we have so many fewer notes, we also have to do block chords now. If you tried the arpeggios like we did on the full Sun Montuno, you wouldn't get a lot of harmonic information this way and it might just sound a little empty. So we do block chords and the chord progression is also pretty important. This kind of two five loop is really common. In our case, we just did a G minor seven to a C seven, and that's because when I recorded this, I was thinking of the tune Soul Sauce, uh, recorded by Cal Jader, and those are the two chords in that. A little side note, if you're interested in Latin jazz vibraphone, you should probably know who Cal Jader was. If you don't, he was a big early proponent of Latin jazz and had a nice long career recording and performing. His biggest album was probably Soul Sauce. It's been reissued a lot. It should be really easy to find. So I suggest you go check that out. And after you're done listening to that, just start going through his catalog. There are lots of great albums there. And they're kind of all over the place in used CD stores. And most of them are online streaming. So it shouldn't be too hard to dig into Cal's discography. And it's absolutely worth it. He's one of my favorite artists. Now, back to the cha-cha. We had our basic pattern, the Oye Como Va jam that we're used to hearing all the time and that most people expect. But I wanna show one other version that I really like as well. This version, we're going to have the full Montuno pattern again. And we're going to create a little descending line, a descending sequence over our chord progression. So this chord progression is gonna be a two five sequence. We're gonna have a D minor seven flat five, go to a G seven, which will go to a C minor seven, to an F7. And I borrowed this from Cal Jader's Leyte and specifically his recording on the album Live at the Funky Quarters. And that's it. It's actually a pretty common pattern. You'll hear it a lot in background music and movies and TV and stuff when they're making it Latin sounding. And once you start listening for it, uh, you'll kind of hear it everywhere and be surprised how often you hear this little pattern. And I mean, it does sound good and it's fun to play. So I guess it's not all bad. As far as other resources for learning about cha-cha and really just Montuno in general, since it's essentially just a slowed down Montuno for most of these patterns, just gonna re-recommend 101 Montunos by Rebecca Molion, just like I did in the last video. It's such a great resource, and there's so much in there that you're not gonna be done with it after just a couple of weeks. All right, hope that helps. Let me know if you have any questions, and if you have a favorite cha-cha recording, toss it in the comments so everybody else has some new tunes to look up and listen to. Our next video is gonna be on the Bial from Brazil, so make sure you're subscribed so that you find out when that video comes out. And don't forget to go to my website, ericmartinpercussion.com, where you can find my own music, my charts, my books, my educational books, things like that. And we'll see you on the next one.